All right, we're here with Paul, the head coach of Utawe, and we just talked to number three, one of your players, uh, your power hitter. Talk, tell us a little bit about your team and the character of your team coming off of yesterday and uh, moving into today. You know, obviously after yesterday's match, we were a little bit uh, disappointed, not only on the result, but just the fact that we didn't think that we showed up the way we, we could have or should have. Um, so, you know, we focused a lot on what we needed to fix on our side of the net, uh, which was intensity first. Passing had been good. Uh, we just needed to work a little bit more on our net game. Um, it was a little bit better today, but uh, it needs to be improved for the, for the rest of the tournament. So. Okay, so you turned it around, you got your win now. What do you tell your team to make sure they don't get too high on this win and uh, make sure they're ready to work tomorrow? Well, I mean, obviously <laughs> they know that there are a lot of good teams left in, the, in this tournament that we could face tomorrow. Um, you know, obviously we're the most undersized here and uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of work to be done. Um, you know, we realize also that um, there's still a lot we need to improve to be able to go forward in this tournament. So, yeah, Pretty neat how this format works out, though, that you're still in the running for a medal here. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Um, you know, even when you catch a big team like Red Deer in that, in that first tough match there, um, you know, it's a good way to stay motivated in the tournament, know that you still have a shot at, at a medal here. So it's pretty special. Well, Paul, thanks for your time. We wish you all the best as you prepare for tomorrow. And undersized or not, you never know what can happen. Hey, right. size of your heart, baby. <laughs> all right, thanks so much and all the best.